365 days on the road, but how much does it cost us? Good morning world, welcome back to our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. Today it's a very special episode because we will talk about the money. Yes, today we're going to be breaking down everything that we have spent after one year riding around the world. For those of you new to the journey, here's a quick recap of our trip so far. So over the past year, we have ridden 24,000 miles, starting in England, down through Europe, across to North Africa, where we finished in Dakar, Senegal. We then shipped the bike across to Brazil and rode all the way to the bottom of South America in Ushuaia, Argentina, before turning north and heading all the way up to Colombia, where we then flew the bike from Colombia to Panama, and now we are making our way up through Central America. So without further ado, here is how much we've spent. Since the beginning of the trip, we have spent a grand total of 21,446 pounds, which is an average of 58 pounds, 76 pence per day. A little bit more than expected. <laughs> yeah, our budget was supposed to be 35 pounds a day. So now I'm gonna grab my phone because I've got a lot of numbers here to read out. So we have broken our expenditure down into a bunch of different categories. And the first and most expensive is transport costs. Our transport costs so far have been 7,120 pounds. Now that includes the ferry from England to France, the ferry from Spain to Morocco, the container shipping from Senegal to Brazil, flights from Senegal to Brazil, the ferry from Uruguay to Argentina, the ferry to and from the island of Tierra del Fuego, air freight over the Darien Gap for Bumblebee, and our flights over the Darien Gap. So that's been a crazy expensive part of the journey. The next category is insurance costs. So we have spent a total of 780 pounds on insurance. Now that includes health insurance and all of the motorcycle insurance policies that we have done so far. We have been actually really happy with our health insurance. The health insurance is called IMG Global. It's been very cheap for us actually. Yeah, so, we'll put a link for it in the description. Yeah. Um, it's like a continuous traveler insurance, so you don't have to start and finish uh, in your home country. You can just set the start date, you can just set the end date, and once that's finished, you can just either carry on and extend it or start another one. And the most important thing for us was that it covers us as well on a motorcycle, which it does. <laughs> the next category is repairs and service for our motorcycle Bumblebee. So far, we've spent a total of 1,338 pounds on repairs and service. Uh, and that's included, I think, two tires and two services and a couple of little extras. So not too much so far. Fingers crossed it continues like that. Yeah, Bumblebee has been really reliable and very strong actually in this whole year. Amazing machine. Amazing. Adventure machine. <laughs> the next category is border fees and visas. The total is 571 pounds, but to be fair, most of that is just for our Russian visa, which is gonna be coming up in the next leg. Yes, otherwise we have been really lucky actually with visa fees. Of course, we are really thankful and lucky that we are a German, like I have a German passport and Oli has an English passport. So no big issues. No, mostly it's either visa yeah. on arrival and it's free, maybe for the temporary import permit for Bumblebee, we've had to pay a little bit, but not too much. The next category is equipment. We have spent 1,486 pounds on equipment. Now, most of that, to be fair, has been uh, recording equipment, camera equipment, audio equipment, stuff like that. So for those of you wondering how much it's gonna cost you, well, if you're not doing a YouTube channel, you're probably gonna save quite a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> because cameras really like to break, as you may have seen if you've seen our episode in Panama. <sighs> oh no, it's been run over. Yeah, and cameras as well are getting just more and more expensive. So if you want to have a good camera, you have to pay like 500 US dollars at least, hey? Yeah. It's like, it's pretty crazy. And we have three cameras on the bike. Yes. Also, we had to get both of our drones repaired in Santiago, Chile, because both of the gimbals stopped working, mostly due to the crazy corrugation, terrible dirt roads in Argentina. It's incredibly rough as well. Wow. Ah. 
It's really annoying actually. Basically shook them apart. So that's been quite an expensive category for us. The next category is sightseeing. So far we've spent £1,090 on sightseeing activities. Now that could have included ferry rides, entrance to national parks, uh, visits to museums. Our flight in, in Nazca. Oh yeah. Flying over the Nazca lines in yes. Peru, which if you go to Peru, <laughs> that flight is absolutely worth the 60 or 70 dollars it cost. Yeah. <laughs> but you can see everything adds up and you think you do like a little bit of sightseeing here, a little bit of sightseeing there and then with one year you are like 1000 pounds lighter. Less than the equipment though. It's true. <laughs> this was actually our like special expenses. Now we're coming to our daily expenses which we have a total of 8953 pounds which is an average of 24 pounds 50 which is actually really good like That's within budget yes yes and i think this is what we actually budgeted yeah if every things day. didn't keep breaking <laughs> yes. so but anyway we as well split this category into four different categories the first one is groceries so we spend 1485 pounds of groceries in a year which is mainly bread and cheese unfortunately they've told us that we can't bring our new block of cheese into chile from argentina we're not gonna let it go to waste i think we will eat all of it <laughs> whoa look at this bon appetit <laughs> so this is an average of four pounds a day it's not that much grocery shopping is by far the most affordable way that you can feed yourself when you travel. So we've been trying to do that quite a lot. And we've been camping on and off the whole time as well. So we have the cooking equipment to be able to cook our own food. So that has definitely been a big help with our budget. The next category is eating out. That's the naughty one. <laughs> so sometimes you maybe have seen us like in a restaurant or you have seen us with a drink or something. So anyway, we spent 1,527 pounds, which is an average of four pounds 18. So again, when you break it down into the day by day, it's not that bad. Four pounds a day. Yeah, considering as well, we are actually two people. So it's actually just two pounds a day. Two pounds each for per you. day. Yes, I mean. <laughs> it's not that bad. The next category, which is for me as well, the most interesting category, fuel. So we spent the last year 1,909 pounds in fuel, which is an average of five pounds 20. When you think about riding all the way from England to Central America here, which is 24,000 miles. That's absolutely crazy. One year, 24,000 miles, and it's only cost 1,909 pounds in fuel. So you can get far. Yeah, yeah. I, I would have expected triple that for fuel. Yeah. If you had asked me at the beginning, how much does it cost to drive as far as we have? To ride as far as we have. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry guys. So fuel has actually been a pleasant surprise and five pounds 20 per day has been really good for our budget. Our next category is accommodation. And this is actually surprisingly expensive. So we spent 4,059 pounds for accommodation to have sometimes air condition, sometimes just a fan, sometimes freezing, sometimes boiling hot. <laughs> but anyway, it's an average of 11 pounds 12 a day. But that's including the fact that we've wild camped and free camped a lot of the time and stayed with friends along the way and it's still 11 pounds per day average yeah and also i always try to find like the cheapest room on booking.com so i'm really surprised that that ended up to be so much yeah apart from the shipping the accommodation has actually been the second most expensive part of our trip okay to be fair sometimes we had to book a room for a longer period to edit our videos because we are working on the road as well so if you don't need to do that and you can just sort of shorten your time in the city and try to wild camp more often, then you can definitely reduce the price there. Yeah, so that's just another thing about doing our YouTube channel, which means that we have to spend more money on the road. And then the last category we have is just extras, miscellaneous, and that is only 108 pounds. And that is like uh, SIM cards, data top ups, and just random expenses, souvenirs, things like that. So there we go. That is the breakdown of everything we've spent so far after 365 days on the road, 21,446 pounds, which is an average of 58 pounds 75 per day. This expenses is of course for a 
us both. So actually, if you break it even further down, then we have spent like 30 pounds a day each person. So it's, all right, it's actually it? not too bad. I would be actually really interested. What's your breakdown and how much do you spend on a trip? Yeah, because we really tried to keep it to like the minimum, minimum, minimum. And we still managed to spend that much in a year. So I'd be really interested to hear what you guys are spending on the road. So please let us know in the comments. And also let us please know if you have like some hacks, how you can save money yes, and <laughs> your experience just about how you travel. And we are not finished with the trip just yet. So the plan from here is to head up through Central America, North America to finish this leg in Vancouver, Canada, where we will then be shipping Bumblebee over to South Korea, taking a ferry from South Korea to Vladivostok, Russia, where we're gonna be going across Siberia, through Mongolia, across Central Asia, and back to Europe. So nearly there. <laughs> So that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time. 